Yeah, bro, cause like that bit was just wild, bro. Like, bro, he moved out the way. Yeah. If y'all wonder what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the last video. But yeah, we into a new reaction. So we got Black YouTube has got even worse. The only reason why Black YouTube has gotten worse is because I am not at that status. But I'm going to take full accountability. It is my fault, kinda. But the algorithm been. You know what I'm saying? Acting a little bit flaky on me. YouTube algorithm been good for me, but TikTok and all the other algorithms, they've been doing me dirty. But I'm not going to make that an excuse. We got to grind. We got to get to, you know what I'm saying, where I want to be at. Game is game. My little sister got a BBL. All right, Deshae Frost, my little sister Brooklyn got a BBL, and you have a thumbnail of her uh, with the little wagon or whatever and everything like that. All right, first things first, you know what I'm saying? I know how the internet gets. Pretty sure she's over the age of probably, what, 19? When Deshae blew up, I don't know. She's 19? She turned 20 in four days. That's crazy. Now, okay, now that she's, you know what I'm saying? Now that we already know, because I already knew she was over the age of 18. Now let's get, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm a bootyologist. I'm a bootyologist. You feel what I'm saying? That looks like something I could definitely break that back and break all the cylinders and the walls and stuff like that. After the 14 round, I just had to put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Deshae, you a cool dude. You no. Asking homeless people free. Asking. <laughs> Bruh. Somebody sent me this video. That's crazy. Key questions. Little RT 20. Yeah, that's wild. I ain't gonna lie. That is wild. He won. This is actually getting out of hand. A few Just months. Just like your forehead. Months ago, I dropped a video titled "The Problem with Black YouTube," and in that video, I basically. I mean, like. I mean. Basically talked about how I feel like there's two types of black content creators. One kind cares about their content and what they actually put out on the internet. And Me. the other kind basically just trend hops and spams the most horniest content possible. All the public interview and... I mean... I mean... Listen, right? Listen. I can explain on my kiss of grass. I can explain, alright? Number one. Grabbing cheeks was so cool. I made a lot of connections. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody was happy. The only don't like it's pros and cons into everything that I was doing. The con was I could never find a girlfriend like just doing that. You feel me? And I wanted a girlfriend. Now I just don't care about one. You know, care about searching for one. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all liked it. You feel me? Y'all didn't really see my kiss or grabs as something you could just jack off to. And like just go about your business you genuinely liked it because it was funny you feel me like 20v1 spamming youtubers and that video has gotten a lot of mixed feedback you know some people said that i was spitting in that video a lot of people even gave me a lot of props for speaking up about this issue and then some people thought that what i was saying was kind of a, a, a little yeah. uncle ruckus here some people were even saying that i wasn't the best spokesperson for this because i speak proper and i sound white even though i mean I, i'm pretty sure last time i checked i'm hold on all right, let me see. Well, do what people want to watch, not what you want to post. Because I'm looking at your channel. Do you post anything? How am I supposed to watch you if your content is all over the place? And to be honest, I won't sub to you because I don't know what you post. I mean, I post me. You feel me? Go around, I f*** with people. I do public interviews. I vlog and I stream. I just post me. I just post my personality. I'm just showing everybody that I was always that kid who was just like so inside of his shell. And I ain't get out of my shell until I till I did YouTube. I real vids reacting and streaming, basically, yeah. I appreciate your perspective, your point of view, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't really, you wasn't really like too disrespectful with it. So I understand, you feel me? But let's get back into it, let me start yapping. Do stick to one thing, you saying you post you, but no one knows what you do. People want to see, so me and people know who are you, my guy? I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a comedian. Let me just say that. I'm gonna just say I'm. A, I'm gonna just say I'm a comedian. Black. I don't know. Y'all tell me. You're even saying that I wasn't the best spokesperson for this because I speak proper and I sound white. Even though I mean I, I'm pretty sure. Like nah, nah. You straight. You're you're a black man. There's the difference between a black man and a nigga. You feel me? Last time I checked, I'm black. I don't know. Y'all tell me. I guess I got to sound black as well. I don't know how a black person is supposed to sound, but y'all tell me in the comment section below. Overall, there was a lot of mixed feedback with that video. And in today's video, I actually wanted to return to that topic of black YouTube once again, because I've been seeing some things and I'm not going to lie. It's low key getting insane, starting with these 20 V ones. Now these 20 V ones, they were pretty popular like six, seven months ago, and they're still pretty popular till today. If you're unfamiliar with the 20 V one, I mean, basically it's 
it's one person versus 20 other people and they just speed date each person each round try my what's good oh hell no nah. what the f is that ass that that that's not spherical it's not a spherical curve bro all i see is just a bunch of potholes and a fucking big ass titty on a goddamn basketball that shit look nasty as brown that's pretty much it now like i said these 20 v ones are still popular till this day and nothing's really changed with these except for instead of using adults they are now using children as you guys saw in the intro yes there was a i'm not gonna lie bro like it's not like I didn't watch the full thing, but how the way 20v1s are portrayed versus that 20v1 is not as bad as what everybody thinking. They just think it was just going to be a whole bunch of sexual shit going on with these kids, and, and it wasn't. And that nigga's a bold-ass nigga for even doing it. He ain't bold because he turned off his comments. That's a pussy move if you ask me. You feel me? But, uh, yeah. The creator out here who created a 20v1 with little RT, the 10 year old rapper. Okay, bet he 10. If that is not insane, I don't know. That's crazy as fuck. Hey, hold on. With little RT, the 10 year old. Bro, my bad for keep pausing. This nigga was born in 2014. Chris Brown beat up his bitch before he was born. The f uh, first Call of Duty came out. Call of Duty 1 and 2 had came out before this nigga was born. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lil Dirt came out before this. Obama got elected before this. This around the time when Fetty Wap and no, not no, not Fetty Wap. Ray Sherman and them niggas were blowing up. That shit crazy as I know, but no one knows who you are because you're not sticking to one thing and being consistent and mastering your niche. It will take you far, but sorry, not trying to control. Nah, bro, nah, bro. I get it, bro. I get it, bro. Like, if you would have said that shit to anybody else, bro, they would have probably just banned your ass because, I don't know, they, you know what I'm saying, they not willing to hear other people out. I'm willing to hear you out, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I actually do this shit because I like doing it. I always wanted to have my own fan base and shit like that. But overall, like, I mean, I did have one niche, and that was Kiss of Grabs. Um, I'm still doing it, but I'm just, like, kind of just, like, pushing away for a little bit. Wow. Because, number one, I'm getting yellow marked. And I'm just getting yellow mark type shit. I like the yap. I'm sorry. Old rapper. If that is not insane, I don't know what is. I genuinely don't. Instead of using Lil RT as a side character like that one guy did, he's now upgraded to a main character, and they got this man speed dating children. But yeah, that's like the only changes they've made with these 20 v ones. Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. Still scamming their fans with the Cash App link in the description, claiming that. Chad, I would never do y'all niggas like that. Listen, listen. I pay Carno every month six hundred dollars. A month you feel what i'm saying so that means i get paid every two weeks each check i have to be wiped clean like that whole check is gone that shit not even mine so i only realistically get one check just to fuck around with and sometimes i'll be br broke as hell down on my dick i don't give a fuck like you know listen listen bro look i ain't gonna lie bro i just love but i love youtube way too much just to be scamming and all the other weird shit you feel me that you're gonna make 750 dollars and we already know how that I'm gonna go back and look at your kiss of grass and see your views goes cash app is not giving you 750 dollars for free that just doesn't make sense that's a terrible business move they're still using the exact same intros as one another and they're also still using the exact same profile pictures as Which one another like there's crazy. literally zero creativity when it comes to these 20v1 tubers now one specific 20v1 that i really want to talk about right now because i i feel for free that just doesn't make sense okay i just want to make sure like this is the elephant in the room is this little rt 20 v1 a few weeks ago i was scrolling on twitter just getting in my daily scroll and i see this poster 20 women versus little rt it's in atlanta and i also saw that reddit logo in the bottom right i don't know what reddit has to do with this but i just looked at it and i thought it was a troll but then about a week ago i was scrolling through twitter again and i seen a clip from this 20 v1 and when i tell you i was shocked and listen i'm gonna be honest bro with the kiss or grab shit i'm trying to figure out like Doing Kiss of Grass was fun, but did I really gain something? I did, I did gain, I gained some shit, I ain't gonna lie. But the only, like, the biggest, the like, the only thing, the biggest thing that, that I'm gaining from my YouTube is streaming. That's probably, like, the biggest thing I ever gained. Some of y'all niggas on here, bro, I met since 2022. You feel me? Y'all niggas still here after I done dipped on y'all niggas for like two months straight, a month straight, a week straight, being inconsistent, cutting off streams early and shit. Hey, hey. What's your name? Tayden. What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. 
Okay, all right, Nick. Now, this video was made by a YouTuber by the name of Mike Adelaboo, who's pretty much another variant of like No Love Mar, Ryan with the Sauce, all those cornball 20v1 tubers. A majority of his content just revolve around 20v1s. Like, if we look at his last 12 videos, you can see that he did nothing else but 20v1s. And before the 20v1s, this man was basically just doing the find your matches and putting his friends on freaky blind dates. Like, he was basically just doing this cornball content, pretty much. And I guess 20v1s got super super boring so he just had to spice it up by adding children to the mix you may be thinking like oh cam you might be overreacting you know maybe this 20v1 isn't that bad no it's exactly what you think nah nah but i get it though because when i was nine no when i was like 19 years old i wouldn't even think about no dating or nothing like that you feel what i'm saying like but i mean like you know yeah okay all right so carmex came back and he said so what i see is that your audience like you doing anything with women my boy doing his research in it i think that's your hidden gem maybe if you stick with doing that for a whole year you would get somewhere i'm working on that i'm definitely working on that for sure i was just spamming the fuck out of that shit like last year and two years ago and shit i thought i was the only nigga who thought about that you really did your homework. I'm impressed. I ain't even gonna lie. It kinda do. I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah. Reason. I will post a regular public interview, no kiss or grab, that has women in it versus that just have like any type of man in it. More men than women. They will watch the one with women in it. You feel me? And I think my audience is grown. Like, I ain't gonna say grown. They like between 18 and 24. His forehead is fucking huge. His forehead is huge. You know what I'm saying? Which I low-key did not want a whole grown-ass fan base. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with anybody who watches my videos. I was looking forward to maybe like the younger youth and everything like that. Because number one, they'll have more time to watch my videos. Share the videos and tell their friends about the videos. Y'all really just wake up, go to work, and just watch my videos whenever y'all can. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Type shit. Think. This is a children's dating show. This man literally held a children's Risen competition. This is not the TikTok Riz party. This is the YouTube kids Riz party. None of these kids are over the age of 13 years old. What was going through this man's head when he was thinking of this video? Man, 20v1s are getting dead, man. Let's add some children to the mix. Like, bro, what the heck? What's crazy is this man also added boys to the mix to make it seem like Lil RT was there to find friends. When we know the true intentions of this, like I said, this is a children's dating show. This freaky ass cornball got a room full of kids to try and riz up Lil RT. Is that not weird? I want to know what adults allowed I mean, okay. their kids to get on this video. I genuinely want to know. Like, this is actually insane. Oh, shit. Oh. Nah, they made that look weird, though. I ain't gonna lie. They made that look weird, but at the end of the day, bruh, bruh, if you, bruh, listen, I can have negative $6 in my account, and I owe the IRS, like, $3,000, and you give me a million dollars for me to do this type of video, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I can't, I can't even do it with a mask on, you feel me? I can't do it with a straight face. I can't do it without having my two, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't even do it without saying how I really feel about this weird shit. I can't do it. Oh. Putting kids on. Like, bro, just let these kids be kids. Why are we putting kids on dating shows? That is weird. Especially 20v1s. I find it so insane how much Lil RT has been used and abused and just exploited through the black community. Y'all need to stop using and abusing this kid for your own financial gain. Yeah, this is this 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 is damn near the same thing as what uh parents be having their kids do on Disney Channel and Disney movies and all the other stuff. It's just the same way. And just let him be a child, bruh. Why do we need videos of Lil RT swiping dudes for his mom or assisting dudes in a 20v1? Or even Let me see. Yeah, I just typed in live stream and scroll and I seen you and said who is this guy? So I was curious, so I joined because I wanted background sound so I could do my work. Like you at work or you like 
at home doing work. But I bet. Okay, bet. Okay, bet, 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 bet. Bet. Because I dare never be doing the same thing. Like, when I'm at work and I just need some, like, background to, to like, listen to instead of music, I'll just download some old videos, like, on YouTube. Because I got YouTube Premium and shit. Yeah, y'all feel you on that. It is strange. <clears throat> it definitely is strange. It's strange, for sure. I feel like Lil RT don't even know what he getting himself into. This nigga finna crash and burn whenever he get older and shit. He needs a haircut. He looks stressed. He don't even got a belt on and shit. Nigga look tired. And send that nigga to the daycare, bro. Like, that nigga and look Lil tired. Lil RT being on a 20v1. Nobody needs this content. What's crazy is, at the end of this Lil RT 20v1, this man has the audacity to say, Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all want to do another one. Or y'all just talk to me. Chat. He turned the count, bro. He turned the comments off. Doing work for my dad and helping him. Okay, bet. Let me know. Man, I just held the latest dating show for children, man. If y'all want another one, make sure to tag your little cousin in the comment section. Tag little Timmy. Tag your little sister. Any kids, I want them all. Like, dog, read the room. Nobody wants another little RT 20v1 or another children's dating show. You know this video is bad when this man turned off the entire comment section. This man probably got... Listen, if you do anything on the internet that you know is going to piss people off, and you post that shit and you get the backlash and the constructive criticism and shit and you turn your cameras off that is worse than a gangster rapper snitching you cannot come back to that platform you's a bitch you's a bitch tons of hate for this and I let me get it right you's a bitch I'm not gonna lie, this hate is justified. And if you thought that was bad, well, let me tell you that these 20v1s get even worse. Because there's actually this 20v1 with this rapper that goes by the name of Finesse Two Times. He and it starts off. off as your average 20v1 that you'd see on Black YouTube. But he then halfway off. through, Finesse Two Times' son came in with them on the second round to basically just stick by his father's side while he's talking to these women. And the way that these women and Finesse Two Times talk right in front of this child is actually weird. It, it's, it's genuinely disgusting. So after you not, do you stay hard or you get soft? Hey, hell nah, nah, hell nah. This bitch wildin', bro. This bitch wildin'. She look weird as hell. I gotta see that ass though. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes you know what I'm saying women who be built like this, they got something on them. All right, let me see what you said. Lil RT gonna look like Famous Dex in the next two years. Facts. That junk get soft. Like, uh, I ain't uh, gonna uh, lie, but uh, I'm gonna go for about 40 minutes for that Johnny for round two. You Y'all might not take 40 minutes with me. Cal. I was trying to see what's the freakiest shit a bitch ever did to you. Uh, Man, one time, right? Uh, oh, God, this a bitch from Atlanta. Hey, that nigga free is hard as fuck, though. I ain't gonna lie. Cause she married now. Oh, God. I had a bitch with eating that Right. Yeah. Man, that bitch got off this bitch, start sucking my toe, cuz. If you spit my mouth right now, you gonna have to leave this on and f me right, uh, though. Since you said when you got out, messed with some skinny girls. Right. So what would you say? The only reason why I can't get skinny girls out my head no more, right, cuz cause, cause one time, right, man, I was hitting a bitch from the front, right, and my man, she just got the square in there with my head up. I feel so bad for this kid because you can literally see it in his face. He's not trying to hear any of that. No child is trying to hear this freaky ass conversation, especially coming from one of his own parents. This man's talking about how he be making girls squirt in front of his son. But when I was young, the only thing I knew that squirted was my squirt gun in the closet. Why is this man that. talking about how he be making women squirt in front of his son? That's insane. If one of my parents were speaking freaky deaky right in front of me like this, the only option I'd have is to drive off of a cliff at 300 miles per hour in gta of course and if you thought that it's disgusting hearing people talk about these sexual acts during these 20v1s what about them actually doing these sexual acts there's literally a 20v1 with the rapper jp and mid 20v1 this man got that mw3 dome if you catch my drift basically he was just yapping it up with these girls and this girl was talking about how she's got that gawk gawk 3000 you know it goes crazy so you ever had chill on gag reflex or no of course. Yeah. I've had several. Oh, I can show you better. I can tell you. And JP basically said that he needed proof of that gawk gawk, right? So they go to the back and this man starts getting gawked off mid 20v1. Number one, this is disgusting. And I feel bad for this woman's parents, future. What YouTuber are you? Are you the type to stick to one thing or just post whatever you want and just chill and no passion for YouTube? Nah, I really... I really just post 
I post whatever I post whatever I feel like is going to be the best content to make people laugh. To make people want to be like, hey, yo, bro, this nigga's stupid as f You're a buster. Rick411. One, one. I'm a buster? How am I a buster? You funny as fuck, though. How am I a buster? Riz, how am I a buster? Answer that. How am I a buster? with her and number two the fact that all these grown men are just standing around eavesdropping listening to another man get his meat slurped up it's completely odd to me i mean like, i ain't gonna lie but shit like this be normal as hell when you famous the only difference is it's just on camera for regular people to see these dudes literally look like some cheerleaders bro they're outside the door like oh my gosh jp you're really getting your meat slurped off right now like, i ain't gonna lie bro i'll be mad as fuck if i'm getting head in the bathroom by a badass bitch and y'all doing that shit i'll be mad as fuck Good luck, man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. But, um, yeah, hell yeah. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Whenever I do blow up, bro, I'm fucking any badass bitch with some big ass cities and a fat ass butt. And, and you feel me? I'm fucking any bitch. Bro, listen, I'm fucking, I'm fucking, bro. I'm just fucking. I'm just fucking. I'm crazy. I'm, like, I'm going, I'm fucking, my nigga. Now, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And if you thought that that 20v1 was bad, well, it gets even worse because there was also this other 20v1 where this girl literally spit into one of the other contestants' mouths to basically show how freaky she was. What's Gabrielle? Nah, you can do it, you can do it. What's your November? Well, why not? Let her do it. That is literally corn. That is literally corn. That is literally the that is literally the whole scene that I skipped when I was 15, my nigga. I will skip that scene. This is usually the part that I skip. That's crazy. He liked that. <laughs> Crazy sounds in here. Would I, would I pay for pussy? I mean, technically we already is, if you really think about it. We paying for gas, we pay for a night out, you know what I'm saying? Would I pay for pussy now? No. No, I wouldn't pay for pussy now. I wouldn't pay for pussy back then, I wouldn't pay for pussy now. No. Nah. Nah. I won't pay for no pussy. I won't pay for no pussy. I'm not gonna lie, bro. The only way, listen, we are what? I don't. My bad, bro. I forgot what the fuck I was saying. But basically, bro, what I was saying, bro, bro. The only way I would pay for pussy is if my strong hand is broke. And I was ugly as fuck to where the point if I ever hollered at a bitch, she calling the cops. That's probably like the only way I'll pay for pussy. And I'm hitting that shit doggy style with my right, with, with my left hand like these. I mean that shit like these. But that's the only way though. When I tell you that clip almost, that clip almost made me throw up. I almost, oh my, I just stopped. Chat, chat. How many of y'all like getting spit in the mouth, or how many y'all like spitting in bitches' mouth? Don't fucking put. Don't spit in my mouth. Don't do none of that shit. Tongue kissing is different. Do not spit. Don't give me no hickeys. Do not spit in my mouth. Stay away from my gooch because I know 2024 y'all niggas like to lick niggas gooches and shit. Y'all like to have y'all legs in the air like these and get y'all gooch lit. What about no neck J? What about him? I know a nigga. Uh, I know a nigga who know no uh, no neck J. Well, uh, what you mean by him? Got myself right there. Seeing that clip, it's it's disgusting. These 20v1s need to stop. Like, when are we gonna wrap these up? I feel like they've had their time, you know? 20v1s were cool at one point when the Sidemen was doing them, yeah. when Jubilee was doing them. Bro, bro, Speed had the baddest bitches on there more than Kai and more than Jideon. But do we really gotta continue to make these? You white room warriors need to stop. This content is just bottom of the barrel. Can, can we think of something else? Oh wait, we did think of something else. Pop the balloon. If you're unfamiliar with pop the balloon basically it's like the new 20v1s and how it works is a bunch of contestants line up 
these, these, these the type of bitches that do that shit for the money and for the clout. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all know me. I'm a freaky ass, horny ass nigga. Let's do this. Hold on, I'm a freak. I'm a freaky, horny ass nigga. He's funny, man. Chat, what's up? I right, bet. She cool. She look like she could be my homegirl. Her too. I'm hitting those. No. 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 She look like she could be a cool ass homegirl. Friends with benefits. Hell nah. Her too. She seemed like she could be a cool ass girl. Nah, I'll hit her. I'll fuck. Okay, hold on. Did you hear about Mr. Beast getting canceled? Yes, I want to talk about that in a minute. Original J, what's going on, man? Shout out my boy Original J and his motherfucker. But yeah, I heard about Mr. Beast getting canceled. Um, Damn, bro, that shit crazy as fuck. If he really knew about it, I don't know what to say. If he ain't know about it, he should have just came out and said, I ain't know about it, you feel me? What's good? What's good, my boy? What is good? What is good? Keep going. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? With um, uh, Keep going with that anime shit, bro. Keep going with that anime shit, bro. Because you know I'm going to meet you up there soon. I'm going to meet you up there soon. For sure. All right, hold on. My fault. Now, and if a person with a balloon, uh, they don't pop the balloon. But if they don't... I'm not I'm not hitting her. I'm not hitting her. I feel, like, I feel like I could get some knowledge about her. But I'm not hitting her. I'm not hitting her. I ain't gonna lie. She probably fucked way more. Like, she probably fucked the. She probably fucked more niggas than I know. Don't like you. Then they pop the balloon and they explain why they popped it. Now, I will yeah. say, I did like pop the balloon because there are a lot of funny moments in there. Like, when an ugly dude walks in and the whole room just sounds like the 4th of July. All right, so, like, um, ladies, J. how y'all feeling based off? Okay, hold on. Who am I hitting? I'm fucking. She seemed like she could be a friend, cool friend. I hit off the teleport. I hit and I still be her homegirl. Now she look like that uh, annoying bitch, you know what I'm saying, who be cop blocking the shit. She seem like the type of bitch that like if I'm talking to your friend, you gonna pull your friend and be like, come on girl, come on girl, like get your goof ass on. Yes sir, my sicker channel go doing good as fuck too. Hell yeah, bro. Listen, bro, I'm proud of you, bro. For real, for real, I'm proud of you. Real shit. Real shit. Wait, wait, the fuck? Like, that is peak comedy. <laughs> or when that one dude who looked like a Ninja Turtle was just cooking all the women on there. Your name oh, it. yeah. Hey, look. <laughs> you not qualified, baby. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I, hey, shit. Age and why you on. All right, so bet. So if y'all ain't hear about this nigga, so basically the girl said she didn't want to fuck with this nigga because this nigga was weird. This nigga got caught being exposed by his ex-girlfriend, and the nigga was actually going broke. And uh, yeah, the the girl in the blue the girl in the blue dress she was roasting this nigga whatever, um, you know what I'm saying. At first I didn't think she was attractive until I heard her voice. I kind of fucked with her voice. She seemed like she a freak. The girl in the pink dress got gotten titties. Girl in the red dress she, she got blue. long titties. Brianna, 26. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoo? No, I, I'm I'm looking at the hair on your arms. That was pretty funny, you know? There's some pretty funny moments with those. But now, I feel like the format is just becoming way too overused. Why does everything have to involve balloon popping? The other day, I seen a dude playing pop the balloon in Roblox, and that's not even the craziest part. The craziest part is that they got the actual white room in Roblox as well. Like, bro, this is getting out of hand, bruh. These white rooms need to be put to an end, dog. Whoever has a hold of these white rooms, they gotta start charging more. They gotta start charging, like, an arm and a leg rather than money. Because if I see one more video in a white room, I'm actually going to flip. Especially these blind dates. I seen a dude doing blind dating based off baby pictures. Is that not weird, bro? Especially coming from these freaky ass channels. <laughs> Why does nigga look, that, look like that? Ugliest rapper alive blind dating based off women. If I ever get put on to one of these shows, I'm fucking the top five winners I ever pick. Wabi and Namir, he should definitely be in that motherfucker because, yeah, if I gave you all my That's love. That's even weirder. There are so many creative things you can do on YouTube, and you're telling me that blind dating based off baby pictures is- And, and plus two, like, how the fuck, like, how the hell are you gonna know? Is the best you can think of. That is insane. What's crazy is this freakiness on black YouTube is also transitioning over to Twitch. And if we know one thing about Twitch- Bro, listen, chat, 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 quick little story time. Bro. Listen, I was trying to do something in my house, but I needed some, uh, need something to, uh, play in the background. Listen, I go on Twitch, and I'm trying to look for Kasanat's stream to see if he on live streaming. Listen, I'm 24 years old. Niggas love to talk shit about Kasanat. If 
the only YouTuber or streamer who I will ever fucking watch a full stream from is Kasanat, because he knows how to entertain. Fuck all that other bullshit y'all niggas be talking about. Bro, why I see a fucking, bro, I see a fucking thigh, a brown skin thigh, oiled up, in panties, back in the chair, with the headphones on, got her legs up in the air, on the chair, like, bro, I ain't gonna do it, but she had her legs up, like this, showing her cleavage, my nigga. Like, this is crazy. I'm thigh. And she had, like, I guess, like, 2,000 people in there. Bro, you niggas is sick. You niggas are sick. You niggas are simps. You niggas are sad. You know what I'm saying? And you niggas are horny. Listen, I'm a honest, horny nigga. I, will, I am not sending you no fucking money for no fucking reason just because you're a woman and you doing sexual shit on camera, my nigga. I'm a horny nigga. You feel me? The only way you get money out of me is if you earn it. Dates. Maybe you need to get your hair done or some shit. Now look, I like to flop. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't see, bro. All right. They could not give a singular F about freakiness on their platform. Twitch would let a woman put jelly beans up her booty hole if it meant that they were getting six prime subs by the end of that stream. Twitch could not care less. That being said, a little bit ago, Deshay Frost, a large black content creator, also former actor, was getting that MW3 dome live on stream for content. Oh my god. She hey chat. What would y'all say? Hey look, it's four people in the chat. Hey chat. What's worse? My kiss of grabs and freaky dirty truth of dare. Listen, no, 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 fuck that. Do y'all think the content that I use like the content that I be dropping, like kiss of grabs and the freaky dirty truth of dares, do y'all think that fits with this type of black YouTube aesthetic? Or is my shit more different than their shit? You feel me? Which one? She tracing my shit. And what's crazy is, this isn't even this man's first time because he's done it before. Ruby Heat. You who? Ruby Heat. Like Miami Heat, Ruby Heat. Ruby. That's your first name? Like all together Ruby Heat? That's my stage name. Stage. What's your real, I wanna know your real name. I like really wanna get to know you. What's your real name? Bryson. Caitlin. Like the Caitlin. 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 Okay. Check it out, mad simple. After you set up with your account, you all you're gonna do is fun. go up and hit the upload. Bryson and Caitlin type. All right, so look, if you was to describe yourself as a Halloween candy, what would you be? Oh, she said. Ooh. What is it with these dudes getting the dome midstream slash mid recording? Like, is the dome that necessary? Where you need to get it mid recording session or stream? Like, wh how necessary is the dome? That's all I want to know. <laughs> that sounds. That sounds crazy. Wait, you, you okay? Okay, bet you think it's the same. Okay, but that sounds insane. Now, am I surprised that Deshay Frost is getting dome midstream? Not at all, because this is the same man that made a video about his little sister getting That's a crazy. BBL. And also the same guy who made a video basically acting like he walked in on his mom creating freaky content. And I say acting because the video is obviously fake. I would never fake content. It is not that fucking serious. The money is not that fucking serious. Bro, this smell hella good though. What? Bro, what? Oh! What the fuck is going on, bro? What is going on? You told everybody to be upstairs, but we're recording. We're doing something, bro. You told me to come, mom. You told me to come over here. You told me to come over here. You told me to come over here and get some food. And if you thought that the freakiness from the Shade Diddy stops right there, well, we're just getting started because this freakiness continues. You got this man falling on a woman's butt on stream. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I was finna say. It's real. You got this man biting on a woman's butt? Ha! Why are you taking so long? <laughs> oh, wait, don't bite me hard. Nah, nah, nah. They okay. gonna clip this, but fuck, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, that bitch tastes good! You got this man recording a half-naked woman running across the street, and then you also got this man forcefully humping a woman on Kai Sinat's stream. Fumble, fumble. Get it, get it! Fumble, fumble, fumble. Yes, fumble. Yes, fumble. Yes, fumble. Yes! What yeah! the fuck? Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Why is this man so freaky? The Shea Frost. You need to be neutered, bro. This man reminds me of one of those dogs that just hump everything. Why is this man so horny, bro? This man is the freakiest frog in the pond. If a bag of flour had a BBL, I'm convinced that the Shea Frost is crushing that in a heartbeat. No questions asked. All that being said, I find it insane how us as a black community have stooped to a new low in content creation where we're putting 10 year olds on dating shows, getting dome on stream, and scamming our audiences with the fake cash app in every single video like this is just odd behavior and it's gotta stop what is the point of having little rt on a dating show who is this content even for and why does it have 43,000 likes and also the sexualization of all this content yeah that shit is you know what bruh why does it always have to be freaky or why does it always have to have these like weird twists I did one freaky dirty truth of there. I did one. All right. Twist. Like I said, there's many phenomenal black content creators. But I wasn't spamming them bitches though. There's out there. But the ones that aren't phenomenal literally are just terrible. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, bro. Good video, bro. I know this is a long ass video. 41 minutes. Yeah, bro. Like, comment, and fucking subscribe, gang.